Hi there! In this video I'm going to show you how to make this necklace. It uses multi-loop connectors to make triple strands that work together very nicely and all drape together. So to plan a necklace like this, one of these bead design boards is very helpful. For my longest and bottom row, I have five of these 20 millimeter sterling silver twisted square spacers, and they're separated by these four millimeter little blue glass beads. For the second row, I have these three lampwork beads, they're 12 millimeters, and I've put each one on an eye pin with two sterling silver corrugated saucer beads, they're 7.3 millimeters, and two more of those blue crystals. It just ties everything together. And I'm going to make these into bead links. And then I've taken some chain and just separated out sets of three links. And then for my shortest and top row, I'm just going to have some of the same chain. So you can see by using similar elements in each one, it ties it all together. And then to finish your necklace, of course, you'll need two of these three hole separators. You'll need a bit more chain to go around the sides and the back, a clasp, two crimps, two crimp covers, and two wire protectors. So I already have these pieces strung on some bead stringing wire. And to finish those ends, I'm just going to put on a crimp and a wire protector and then one of the outer holes of my three hole separator and then the wire goes right back through that crimp. Go ahead and flatten that crimp and then cover it with a crimp cover. Once that's done you'll slide all your beads down and repeat the procedure to add a crimp, a wire protector, the other piece of your three hole connector and then finish it up with a crimp cover. So now there's one length done. Next we'll take our lamp work beads with the spacers and the crystals. Again I've strung these onto eye pens and then I'm going to make them into bead links and you just trim the wire that's coming out of the last bead to about three eighths of an inch and then use round nose pliers to make a loop. And bend that loop up so it's centered over the beads. And repeat for your other two. Next use chain nose pliers to open a loop of one of your bead links and attach a bit of chain. And then open the loop of another bead link and attach the other end of that piece of chain. and then repeat to link them all together and add a link to each end. And there's the middle strand all done. Now it was by design that I made this a little bit shorter than the lower one so that as it hangs they drape nicely inside one another. So to connect this, if you have soldered chain you'll have to use a jump ring but these links open. So I'm just going to use two pairs of chain nose pliers to open these and then attach them to the middle of my three hole connector. And make sure when you attach the second end that everything is aligned and nothing is twisted. So now just the final section to add and that's this piece of chain. So I just kind of lay, lay them out and look at them and decide how long you want the chain to be. I think I'm going to make it go from here to here. So I'll open up this link again, take off the excess and add it to the final hole of the connector. And then I'll open this other end and add it again, being sure that nothing is twisted. And there, a triple strand necklace and all you have to do to finish it is add some chain to each side to make it the length you want and add a clasp to one end on the back. 
And there you have it, a really pretty triple strand necklace made much easier by the use of these three hole connectors. And by the way, the lamp work, the crystals, and the sterling silver spacers are all available from House of Gems. Happy creating. Bye-bye.